Hello and welcome to the Floyd Models Friday Roundup Show. Here we are with you on the 4th of October 2024. Really good week this week. Been pushing on lovely with the uh, Space 1999 Eagle Transporter. And I've got a real bug for this now. I say itch, but it's actually a bug. Um, the more research you do on these, the more interesting it actually gets. And I must admit, it's one of those things where there's a lot of them that you can get. This is obviously the 12-inch version we said before. Then they do a 22-inch uh, version, it's commercially available, and they do a 44. All right, now the 44 one, if you want to do that, I think the only way you can do it is 3D printed. But that thing is an absolute beast. But I am seriously looking for, at the moment, a nice 22-inch version for this one as well. Because, as I say, it's just such an interesting thing to work on and doing now getting a little bit more information reference photos coming through and obviously speaking to you guys who are well into this and know what you're talking about it is it's one of those ones where in the hobby you can literally be into aircraft or you're into armor or figure painting vehicles whatever it may be and then you know you don't really know much about the subject but you really go down a rabbit hole with it and we're not just talking that thing where you know we've all done oh I'll look it up on YouTube and you find an interesting video there's tons and tons and tons of material about this for something that was around in 1975 but it's still living on today. And we've got the 50th anniversary of actually Space 1999 next year. And uh, there's actually a, a new film coming out, which is more like a fan film type thing for it as well, um, called the sort of Eagle uh, Obsession as well with it, talking to people who are into these, the original model makers and things like that. And it is absolutely amazing. It's one of those ones where it's such a nice community with it as well. They're very open. I've been talking to people about this and obviously bigger scale ones and 3D printed ones as well and things like that. And everybody is like literally, oh, you need to do this, you want to do that with it. But it is really, really nice. And that's really great to see in the hobby like this. So this is one of those things now. I could just see myself going, right, we're going to get hold of the 22 and then one day we'll do build a 44 version uh, and go for it it's quite a simple design and i think that's what's the beauty of it uh it's one of those ones where it looks like a practical and obviously it was a practical effect back in the day think jerry anderson because that's how it started uh and again it's one of those ones where i don't know it just lends itself really to what we do as model makers and being creative uh, and working on it and like this one you can't really do much with it. it it is what it is it's got no detail on the underside it should have this framework on the underside and stuff like that if you wanted to you could add all of those into it and do it yourself but i am actually thinking if you went for sort of the bigger scale like the 22 inch version you know from that point of view you could do a lot with it you know obviously lighting it would be one nice little touch with that but also you could add a lot more detail into it and obviously speaking to various people where they've done it and they've got like working suspension onto it for the for the pads for it and stuff like that uh, you know and obviously a working clamping system as well for the pods that go underneath and all those things i think it is absolutely just wonderful but anyway been really pushing on with this one and going through with it and uh, say we'll catch up with that one in a little while anyway it all started on monday uh, where we had the first vlog up for the members. And really, I was just talking about, you know, how I'm falling in love with this particular kit and what we've been doing with it. And it is one of those ones where literally we was just working our way through, going through, and, you know, my thoughts as well. So obviously, I'm taking what I know from doing other sci-fi stuff and bits and pieces and put it into here. One of them is the plastic on this is quite a... It's not a nice plastic. It's just a normal white plastic. It's why the camera absolutely hates it. So the first thing I did once we got it together was give it a good coat of LP5, which is uh, the satin uh, black paint uh, from Tamiya, the lacquer one. And that is a nice color on its own. And I was actually thinking at the time, that's a really nice color and it goes through. But basically what we're doing is we're doing it all black. No of the reason, it's nothing to do with weathering or marbling and that, is to give it an absolutely solid, heavy look. Because if you just try it with the plastic, it's not gonna work very, very well, all right? And we were going through the sort of motions and talking through with it on that one, all right? So anyway, that was up on uh, Tuesday. You can see that one now. On Wednesday, uh, we were moving along and lots of tips and tricks on this particular show as we were going through with it all. Uh, you know, I was talking about everything from uh, the paint, how we're going to do the painting and things like that on this particular kit. And then obviously we were talking about um, the actual putting in some uh, stainless steel, uh, marine grade stainless steel nuts into the new AK uh, bottles as well. Uh, and literally lots of other bits and pieces on this particular show and all the rest of it. And also about when you spill lacquer based paints or like the AK lacquer based paint all over your cutting mat, to use IPA to clean it up, do not try thinners, otherwise you'll take it off of your mat. 
uh, and stuff like that right the way through. So anyway, that particular show is up there now. And we were talking about, oh, yeah, when you get the release agent from resin affects your paint, that's what you get. Literally the little eyeballs, as I call it, or the Welkin. So yes, those types of things down in there as well. So anyway, if you want to catch up with that one, you can do as well. The same point on that particular day as well, we had the actual uh, kit from, if I can find him, where are we? Here it is. Uh, from the uh, Magic Factory uh, is up. This is up now to watch as well. It's up on YouTube and it's up on the actual uh, main site as well now for non-members to look at. But this is the next release. So this is the uh, beefest version, as I call it, of the actual uh, Bradley. So it's the M7A3. So basically it's a fire support vehicle that goes along with, uh, you know, the sort of MLRS and uh, high mass systems and things like that for it. So it's got targeting. Uh, it's got obviously a little bit of self-defense and all the rest of it. Really nice kit with this one. Uh, again, another complete box full. I am a big fanboy of Magic Factory. I like their kits. I like the way that they go together. Their instructions are nice and clear and very easy to follow, as you can see right the way through. It hasn't got a billion you know, bits of kit in here for no reason. It just goes in to make up a really, really nice kit all the way through. Good chunk of photo etch, as you can see, for all those cleats and various bits and pieces going onto it. Some nice grill work and other bits on there as well. And you can say the decals are a little bit flat. You get a nice piece of, uh, it was like a, a sticky, film that basically gives you that sort of armor glass look for the scopes uh brass gun uh and obviously for the muzzle brake on that one as well which is very nice as well so nice a little upgrade from that basically it's the same as the standard um infantry fighting vehicle type which we've looked at before with obviously the upgrades into this one so you do get a couple of new sprues but it's a really nice sharp good clean crisp kit you know, no sink marks. Uh, all the ejector pin marks are usually a little bit recessed uh, or very, very shallow. And again, there's no problems with these at all. If you did want to use the original barrel, it is in the kit as well, if you wanted to go down that kit. But anyway, you can have a look at that one now. It is up on the actual site itself, as along with all our reviews. So literally just click into the review section at the top, and we've got all the reviews we've been doing over the last God knows how long. And to be honest, there is literally hundreds and hundreds of reviews in there now. So if you want to have a look at any of those ones, don't forget the easiest way to do it is click in the old search and then just type in what you want just down in here to find anything on the site. Obviously, page count now, it's running into the hundreds of pages on this site with all the different information and things like that as well. So the quickest way to find it is use the old search. It does work and it is actually a pretty good one on that one as well. That moves us on to last night where we had the live show. And uh, it should have been a members live show, but due to me being a complete Muppet, I'm blaming the painkillers I'm on at the moment. Uh, but I actually made it live to the so world. So there's a, a bonus way. one up here uh, for you guys to watch as well. So if you want to catch up with all what we were doing, Nathan's obviously clearly working with a massive Tonka uh, and doing that one. So good luck with that. Nathan's going to try and do that in time for Telford. We will see. Uh, Andy at last finished off his P47, and that turned out absolutely beautiful, especially after having to do a custom job on the actual checkerboard on the bottom because of uh, a sizing slight sizing uh, sizing problem with that one. But uh, if I can find the other side, there we go. Hopefully, there you go. You'd never know. Good job on that one, Andy. It's nice to see you've actually completed a kit. So good job with that one. Uh, I showed a little clip because Nathan wants to do it in sort of markings like this, the Italian markings. So this is an old video that I shot at Riyadh. Jesus, a long, long time ago. It must be, I don't know now. It's got to be at least 10 years ago I did this one. Uh, so yes, from the Italians were there with the tornado. So if you want to have a look at that one, you can catch up with that one as well. John, obviously, with his little Brewster Buffalo, carrying on with that one. Uh, so he was talking about that and going through all the mentions of it uh, and stuff. And then obviously Matt with his BF110, the giant one. So this is the dragon kit, uh, was going through and talking to us about how that one's going on as well in there and discussing that. And he's working on the back form. Mad man, mad man. Uh, and doing things like that as well. So we've got all the guys talking about various things down in there. And then obviously during the show, we were talking about your questions uh, and obviously all, everything else that goes through. I was talking about the stuff I'm working on at the moment, the usual bits and pieces. And we were talking all things Dymo tape, if I remember rightly. Uh, we were talking about metal finishes and other bits and pieces as well. And obviously the all important show dates 
for what we'll be doing uh, up over the next few days as well, which I'll recap just down here. So not this weekend. Next weekend, we've got Flory Fest. So it'll be two days of shows, tips, tricks, little videos, how-tos, demos, all things like that. Obviously, we've got big sales going on at the moment at Flory Models. Obviously, Braveco will be joining in with that one as well. Obviously, with the PM Store as well. Uh, as, so if you want to join in with any of those ones, we'll be live 10 o'clock Saturday morning. We're going to run to about 12 and then we'll be back up at uh, around about sort of two o'clock and we'll run to around about four, half four, something else like that on both days on Saturday and Sunday. So again, that's going to be on the 12th and 13th. Then I'm over in Eindhoven for the SMC show. So I'll be there. Flory Models will be there with Flory Models Europe. And so we're going to have a stand there and all the rest of it with Proveco. So we're going to be there on the 19th and 20th of October. So if you want to come and say hello to me, I'll be there and uh, love to meet you there. Then we will be at uh, Scale Model World at Telford uh for on the 9th of november we're only doing a walk around we haven't got a table we're not selling anything anything nice like that but we're going to be there as well but we're only going to be there on the 9th because i can't afford two days and then obviously we've got the turkey shoot coming up as well so that's going to be on the 28th of november and finish on uh sunday the 1st of december it's a late one this year for the old turkey shoot as well where we will be building and again full details of this will be up on the site by the time you get this one as well so if you like catch up with that one you can do as always uh, on the show. And then last up, obviously we had to show the little rat itself. Uh, Amber was on the back end of the show, the new puppy. So my clickbait as I call it. So yes, yeah, she was on the back of the show as well. So if you wanna get that one, you can do. And that gets us pretty much up to today. So up on the site right now, you've got part two of the Eagle Transporter. Uh, this particular part, I was talking about fillers, which is one of my favorite ones. It's just CA filler and uh, uh, a little bit of talcum powder. And then you just mix it up together and then slap it on your model and then sand it off and you get a beautiful finish in 10 minutes unlike other ones where you have to wait forever for it to dry again we did plenty of deburring work on all the framework on this and got it all together so it started to come together very very nicely and then after that we gave it a black base we spoke about before of lp5 right the way over it we did everything literally everything got a coat of this one to give it a nice solid look then obviously we were waiting for that to dry we did the engine nozzles in a little bit of extreme metals and i was speaking about making sure or the importance of making sure it's thoroughly thoroughly mixed and we're not just mean you can't see it on the bottom anymore because then you're going to have lumps about it you know flinging around in here if you've ever had a problem with extreme metals not drying and being sticky it's because you haven't got the crud or the thick stuff off the bottom so technically you've got all the carrier agent and that's the sticky stuff so you need the thick stuff to help it dry and stuff like that so we we're speaking about that then we gave it a couple of coats so we went in with a good bit of steel and then we went in with some stainless steel for a little bit of coloring with the bluing agent and then we went in with a little bit of dark iron just around it as well, uh, just to actually give it a nice little bit of look around the actual tips and at the beginning of the engine, a little bit of heat coloring going right the way through if you like, all right? So anyway, that's up for members. You can see that right now, part two is up available for you to watch. If you click on here, as you can with all the videos, it'll take you over and you've got high res images of all the bits and pieces that we're doing right the way through on this one. So you can see it's a photo one and then members just click down on here and you'll be taken straight off to the video to actually go and watch it on the main site. That goes for all the video builds as well that we've done in the past. So if you want to see anything we've been working on, like recently we finished off uh, uh, Halifax, things like that, the full build as a photo is available to have a look. So if you want anything and good descriptions all the way through as well so if you want to see any of ones of these ones and i think i don't know how many's on here now over 100 literally over 100 you can do it that way and don't forget members you get free access to all the video builds all the forum and obviously all the deals and discounts that we do as well so if you're thinking about joining up or want to see what we get up to permanently click on the membership full details down in here below and i will just say one thing just because there's a little bit of confusion that's come up recently. And all, even though we've had it for three years now, isn't it? I think since the EU, when we had to uh, sort of break it up a little bit, shall we say the site and everything else like that. If you are a Patreon member and you pay for Patreon, you don't just have to watch us on Patreon. You still have full access to everything, the same as everybody else. And you would have been sent a link when you joined. So when you join Patreon, I send you a message to have a look in your junk folder, your spam folders and all the rest of it with a login so you can see everything in the forum as well. So you still get to see absolutely everything like everybody else. It's just your payment method is slightly different. But if you do want to go onto Patreon and watch us on Patreon, 
you can do that as well. So you just click into Patreon, you can watch it all there. But not everything is over. Only the last four years worth of stuff we've done is available on Patreon. If you want to see the other 16 years of stuff we've done, just go over in the forum because it links from the forum off to all the videos and everything that we've ever done. So I know, but we're talking to a member this week and he was on about, um, you know, he hasn't got all the films and the videos. And it's like, well, because that's because it's only there. The rest of them are on the site. But he didn't realize you get full access to it. He thought being Patreon, he was just on the Patreon page. Page, you're not you still get full access to absolutely everything and all the offers and deals and everything that we do with pm and braveco and all the other bits and pieces as well so if you want to get any of that information make sure you come over to the forum and use the links that you would have been sent on that particular one all right anyway speaking of which over on the store as well We've got uh, the various things. Um, a little bit low on stock, but I will be restocking for the show, obviously, next weekend. All right, not this weekend, next weekend. So I will have all of these back in stock and all the rest of it. So hold off for that. Uh, and don't forget, we've got things like the limited edition mugs. We've only got 15 left. And they will go, I guarantee it, by next weekend. So if you do fancy getting yourself the Kareem Limited Edition mug, you can get that one down in there as well. And obviously, we've got the tweezers and the other bits and pieces. And I've got the display, which is really nice stuff. Why nobody's ever not thought of doing it this way before, I don't know. Uh, but basically, this is just a plastic card. But it's on nice grey plastic card. And it's got your measurements and drawings. And it makes using it so much easier. Uh, than having to measure it yourself and all the rest of it so that's quite handy stuff so anyway i've got all the sizes of that in there down there as well all right so lots of stuff we've got your washes your pigments and all those good bits and pieces but honestly you might want to wait until if you can for another week uh, because there'd be a discount on all of these as going to run through. All right. So just keep an eye out for that. All right. Uh, last up as well don't forget over on the PM store uh, we've got some new specials that have come in this week. So we've got the gorgeous uh, 48 scale Phantoms. So these are the Academy kits, been reboxed by Hobby 2000. Some really nice markings down in there. So we've got the Aces Volume 1 and Aces Volume 2 as well with the F4s as well. So we've got the C and the D versions down in there. If you fancy a kit that's usually very hard to come by, we've got the two-seat Skyhawk as well so obviously this is in the israeli markings but you could just do it in another marking if you wanted to uh because to be honest i've got it over there in a nice uh, navy marking from back in the day also something else that we've managed to get in which i've been trying to get in for a long time because i use them all the time and they're a timeless one is the hasagawa weapon sets so the great thing about these weapon sets is that it gives you a oodles of weapons that perhaps you haven't got in your spares box and things like that. So again, you've got the weapons B, which has got the Phoenix missiles. So obviously, if you need Phoenix missiles for your Hasegawa, things like that. But also you've got jammers, you've got rocket pods and the sort of, you know, Cold War era, shall we say, of um, uh, laser guided bombs, uh, wall eyes, things like that down in there as well. Moving across, you've got the weapon set E, which is really nice because you've got all the modern stuff in here. So we've got the lightning and we've got the sniper pods down in there. We've got JDAMs. We've got the small JDAMs, the sort of £500. And obviously the £2,000 is down in there as well. And also we've got the uh, AIM-120 AMRAMs. And also we've got the Sidewinder Xs. So it's a really nice set for modern things as well. And then obviously to finish it off, we've got the actual weapon set D, which has got all your JDAMs and it's got, I don't know, slam missiles, if I remember rightly, down in there. And obviously all your uh, laser guided bombs as well. Plus the fact you've got your training rounds and bits and pieces in that one as well. So again, really handy sets to have along. And for some reason, they sort of come along and then vanish. And then you don't get them for another couple of years. So if you do fancy them just for in the actual thing, we've got them at a discount. You can grab those. They're up on the right side, uh, site right now. Last of my review samples is up there for the A10. So that's just the last one that's left. All the others have been sold. So if you want to grab that one, a little bit of a bargain price. Instead of normally your sort of 90 quid, we got it out there at 72. So you can grab that one and your other bits. Now, a lot of questions have been asked is that what's happened to the PM store? Where's all the kits gone and stuff like that? Clearly, you've been under a rock because we've been talking about it and showing about it for months now. Basically, what we've done is PM Stores has moved out of that huge warehouse we had all the rest of it into a smaller one now uh, down the road, uh, purely because we streamlined the company. We're not carrying the amount of kits that we used to do. We'll still do the pre-orders. We'll still do the special deals and stuff like that. It's just we're not carrying a warehouse full of kits like we did before. That's all it is. So we streamlined the business and we put that money that we've got from it into other projects that you'll be seeing in the near future as well. So again, lots of different things. So it means we can carry more paint now and very things like that uh, and tools and sundries as well so from that so what we did was at the time we moved a lot of the stock over to ebay just to get rid of it 
and a lot of you have said about it. So here it is. So this is the eBay store. So it's under uh, Donkits17 or underscore 17. All right, just down in here. And I'm not saying it's our dumping ground, but it's where we were just discreetly were selling off our kits. But there's loads of them down in here as well, still left over. We've got some good offers down in here. This is just literally the last of the warehouse stock that we had. All right. So if you want to grab any of these and some of the new ones are down in here as well, you can do. But as you say, there's pages and pages on this one as well. So if you want to pop in, they are up on eBay. It's just to streamline us uh, as we were doing all of this. So if you just go onto eBay and put in Donkit 17, it's the first one that pops up on the list and you can grab them from all in there. All right. But it was just us streamlining the company a little bit, just a little, a little bit of a different direction and stuff as well. So, yes. So if you're looking for it, that's where all the kits have gone. They're all on there until they've gone. And when they've gone, they've gone. So, yes. Anyway, good job. So plan of action for me over the weekend is I'm doing lots of work with Matt. We're doing some editing uh, and stuff. We're getting prepared as well, obviously, for Flory Fest next weekend and doing like that. Hopefully, I can crack on with this. And I will just say, just for the haters out there, just because I like doing it, but these markers, I'll tell you what, for sci-fi and stuff like this, this is the best thing ever. Shadow work, just using the little bit of deck tan with the white on here is working really well and using the markers. I am absolutely in love with markers at the moment. It's not just those. I've got other people's here. I've got in here uh, the actual display ones as well because they're really, really nice. Got a good color gray with theirs as well. So I'm using markers on so much these days. It's, um, yeah, at this rate, I'm not going to be airbrushing soon. I'll be doing everything with markers. But anyway, I am going to be pushing on with this one as well. And then next week as well it's going to be quite a busy week because of things going on but obviously i'm going to start on to the osprey as we make our way through and then don't forget after that i'm popping over to the netherlands for around about five days as well because we got sort out stuff for the show doing the show and then getting back so it'll be a little bit of a disjointed week but whilst i am in the netherlands i'm going to vlog the lot as well so you'll get vlogs from me and various things and i'll put it into a show at the end and stuff like that as well so it should have a good time over there with that as always on a Friday, though, I'm going to leave you with your great work from the gallery. So until next week, everybody, happy modelling. Take care. I was not ready to fall in like I'm wasted.